Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I've just finished in the salon, all the team have gone home now, and I am staying behind to show you a really quick and easy way to put in a shorter butterfly haircut. It is the new wolf cut, I suppose, of 2022, leading to 2023, and it is gonna be super simple. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the high point of the head, we're gonna find that, and we're gonna come back to just behind the ear, and we're just gonna separate the hair out. I'm gonna be doing this on dry hair. You can do this on dry or wet. I'm just gonna be doing it on dry just to show you this simple technique because I wanna create a lot of softness in the hair. So sectioning pattern is a parting of your choice through the top. I've gone slightly just off center just for a change. I've then gone from a high point down to behind the back of the ear and then again on this side. What we're gonna first do is we're gonna find a guide I'm just going to pull a little piece from this middle parting. And I have been listening to you. I'm a I'm black t-shirt, blonde model. And if I'm going to be wearing a, a white t-shirt or work on a black mannequin, dark mannequin, I'll put a white t-shirt on. So I'm going to pull this down and I'm going to come down to the chin. And I'm just really going to soften off through there. So there's our guide. I'm then gonna do a middle section through the, just either side of the parting. So not a middle section, but a section either side of the parting. I'm then gonna find my guide and then 45 degrees backwards. So my guide is just there, through there, and then we're just going to point cut that back nice and soft. And I'm just literally gonna work down the head, bringing all of that hair elevated up to that central point. Check where my guide is there. And I want this to be quite textured and really soft and free flowing. So I'm just point cutting. And again, to that middle section through there taking off through there. And then again, this is a really cool technique as well for if you're wanting to soften off layers or anything in salon, you can do this exact same thing. And then as we get to here, there's not much more to take off from the perimeter, but I'm sure they will be on the back because the back is much, much longer. I'm just gonna pull that up. And there is literally just that piece there. So let's just soften off through there. And then what that's gonna give us, you can see how it's falling. It's giving us that shape all around the face like that and just tapers out really, really nicely. So we're gonna grab our guide again. And I'm just gonna work through pulling the hair up to me now, up to that guide, finding the guide. And then just point cutting that section off. And this is just a really nice way to be able to sort of maintain length around the perimeter if you want to, because we're over directing up to the top. It's a great way on, on dry hair as well to really see how the hair is going to sit, how it's going to fall for your client. Some things I, I do, I did a video the other day of somebody, if you wanted to maintain the length on somebody's hair, like the best haircut for growing your hair. Because if you do a lot of it dry, you can start to see, if you have a look, I'll stand behind it with my t-shirt. When you start to see all of that shape that's round there, it's looking perfect. So if you see, you can see all of that shape all through there. What I want to do is just to soften off maybe a little bit more so we can see. Look at all of that shape. Just go up into there, deep point cutting just to soften. And then we can get this side. And then again, just point cut into there like that. There's a little bit of length there, so that must be coming. Needs, oh, needs bringing up to the top. Just there. 
And then what we want to do is just check our lengths, make sure they're equal, just a, a little stray hair there. But look, you can see all of that shape already forming through there. Now what we're going to do with the back is we're going to be using the front as our guide. So let's kick this forward. Let's grab this side, kick it forward. I'm going to pull that back into this back section. And I'm just going to do a middle section down the middle back. I'm just going to spin this around so I can cut from my guide. And you'll see my guide, which is just there, and that's from the front. What we're going to do, slightly just angle our fingers. And there's our layer. And then again, working straight down. Let's pull all this hair up. Whatever doesn't reach, don't worry, because we can, we can nip that off at the end. But there we go. And then just on the perimeter. Make sure we're still keeping the tension and everything. And there's our perimeter. So there's our guide, and there's our perimeter. So we know we've cut all of that hair through there. And we know we're going to get a perfect blend because we've used the guide from the front through to that back. And again, I'll grab this side and then push this up to our guide. So you've got to see the guide, which is there. Slight angle on the finger. And then again, straight down. Pushing up to that middle section or guide and just elevating and we're creating a bit of over direction as well because we're because we are elevating we know we're going to maintain the length around the perimeter last section on this side and that is it how easy is that if you wanted to give someone really symmetrical uh, balanced haircut really quickly but something that's bang on trend like the butterfly haircut this is the way to do it So we're just going to look there and then let's just neaten that up through there. There. Beautiful. Do our trusty shake. And there we have it. How easy is that? To create perfect balance, lovely texture, and all of those butterfly layers that we're sort of seeing everywhere. And the reason for it is because if we were to blow dry that back, it's like a wing, a wing, a wing, or if we're wearing it forward, you have like these pieces that all fall around there. So like the Rachel of 2022, 2023. So if you've enjoyed these videos, let me know in the comments down below. I really appreciate it. Trying to hit 100,000 subscribers this year. So if you could help me by hitting that red button, the subscribe button, really, really appreciate it. And uh, as always, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up because we're going to be checking out the butterfly haircut for a little while now.